Regards from Indonesia. We are the Nankatsa team of naval architecture students from Bengkalis State Polytechnic, Riau, Indonesia. About our ferry design organized by Worldwide Ferry Safety Association for Safe and Affordable Ferry Design Competence. MV Guinevere is an electric ferry designed to operate on the Pasig River Manila, Philippines, which has its headwaters in the upper De Bay Lake and empties into the Manila Bay. MV Guinevere has the following main dimensions. Length overall 25 meter. Length waterline 24 meter. Beam 7 meter. Depth 1, 78 meter. Draft 0, 95. Speed 19 knot. MV Guinevere can accommodate 100 people including two crew members. This ship has two decks consisting of engine decks and passenger decks which have a seat capacity of 100 passengers, the deck also has a bicycle holder, wheelchair at the back and also provides an area for baby strollers. The navigation deck is designed as one deck with the passenger deck considering the low bridges and some river areas. Every passenger seat is equipped with a life jacket at the bottom of each seat in anticipation of an emergency. The ship also provides safety hammers on each porthole to assist evacuation in an emergency. We also design two emergency exits on the left and right at the front of the ship. Structure ships are designed using the rules of the International Association of Classification Societies. Structural design stages start from calculating loads, calculating modulus, determining profiles and finally drawing midship. We use 5083 Siri aluminium alloy material for coating and ship construction. To calculate the resistance we use the Molland method for catamarans and get the following results. For the propulsion system, our design uses a pair of Hydromaster engines high-speed azimuth thruster series D, as our main engine with each 350 kilowatts power and can operate with a maximum speed of 19 knots. By analyzing the power load on the ship we chose NMC lithium-ion batteries as the main power to drive the ship's main engine. Lithium-ion NMC battery selection itself is because this type of battery has advantages such as consuming less power and supporting fast speeds and long distances and one NMC battery cell can save half the space than LFP batteries, which is very important for ferries with limited space. For electrical purposes we use two LFP batteries as power to turn on the electricity in the ship and we also utilize sunlight with four solar panels as a spare medium for electricity slash energy which will be used to recharge the LFP battery as much as 100%. In stability we divide two conditions, namely when the ship is full and empty with the following results. This is the life-saving plant on board EV Guinevere. For the ship's fire extinguishing system refers to the regulations of the International Code for Fire Safety Systems. This ship is also designed with great attention to the safety of passengers and ships, therefore we install an innovative feature called Fire Suppression System Novec 1230 in rooms that can pose a fire risk. Fire Suppression System Novec 1230 itself has advantages compared to other fire extinguishers so that it is increasingly used as a fire protection system, which has advantages including Novec 1230 Fire Extinguisher is not dangerous to humans, nor the environment. The Novec 1230 Fire Extinguisher System is not conductive or does not conduct electricity, so it is suitable to be installed in a room containing electrical or electronic equipment. We also make ticket prices according to the distance of each port each. We think the ship was built for $702,762.53 and for a payback of about one year, three months, by estimating annual income of. That's a brief explanation of our ship design for the 2023 Worldwide Ferry Safety Association Design Competition. Thank you for watching our video.